My name is um, Bongo Samcharo. I am the chairman of uh, Taita Taveta Wildlife Conservancies Association. This is an association of um, all ranches and conservancies in Taita Taveta County. I would like first to give um, a small explanation about Taita Taveta County. Uh, Taita Taveta County, before colonialism, was occupied by Taita Taveta people. They used to live up the hill where they do some farming, but then they go right down to the foothills for um, livestock keeping, then right up to the national park where they do hunting. Then the colonial government decided to slice off a big chunk of Taita land and convert it to crown land. Then they apportioned them about 65% of uh, the land and given them as national parks. And then between South East and South West, they formed um, a hunting block of about 24% of Taita Veta County land. So what uh, remained, that was uh, set aside as local uh, local reserve, native reserve. So uh, during colonialism, the Taita Taveta people lost about 89% of their land. So each community were subject to historical injustice by de being denied their land for herding, for life of keeping, and for hunting. Then the 24% were subdivided into blocks. They were called hunting blocks for commercial hunting. After independence, when independence came in 1963, the national park still remained as national park under the national government. The 24% which were hunting blocks were converted into state land. Taita Taveta people requested the government to be given the hunting blocks as uh, to be converted to ranches. Then the national government allowed um, a few taitas to make a trial. An old man, Lenjo Samuli, was a very prominent um, livestock keeper. He was given the mandate to pilot a commercial ranching in Taita Ranch. When they found it was succeeding, they added three more, Rukinga Ranch, Fagala Ranch, and Lualegi Ranch. So these were piloted first as companies restricted to 50 shareholders. When uh, these ranches were established, it was realized by Teta people that um, many people from outside the county were targeting the remaining hunting blocks to be grabbed or allocated to people from outside. So Teta Veta leaders appealed to the government that all these hunting blocks should be allocated to Taitas to be given as ranches. The government of Kenya, the President Jomo Kenyatta, they decided they agreed with the Teta leadership to convert this state land into ranches. But they were still under the national government. The Teta Taveta came together and realized since every community had been denied part of the land, it was decided by the elders that each community in all the locations, there were nine locations at that time, each location had to be given a ranch of its own as a community ranch. So each one who had to join the ranches had to contribute either livestock, which was converted to shares or money. And they were registered under company registers. But because they were started with a lot of loans from government for development of infrastructure and also for purchase of livestock, they were supposed to be agricultural directed. That each ranch had to have a director from the Ministry of Livestock who was seconded by the minister. So the minister had say because of the policy so that they would not run against the policy of the government concerning ranches. Then there were a few individual families who were prominent livestock keepers and some prominent people in society they were given individual or family ranches as individual companies. Then on top of that, we have these um, other ranches which were under the natives, where everyone would go and graze. These were converted to group ranches, organized as group ranches for anyone from the community to take their livestock and, um, and herd. Because of lack of understanding, there has been a lot of talk about subdividing the ranches for individual land use, to be subdivided to cover tighter and better people, to be used as, um, as shambas. It is in these ranches, that 24% that is remaining, where there is wealth of the people of Teta Veta. That's where we can do top-class livestock production. This is where we can do irrigated agriculture. This is where we can do um, industrial mining and gemstone mining. Uh, we can conserve wildlife and do tourism uh, business. This is where we can do carbon crediting. This is where we can do big energy projects. This is where the wealth of Teta people is. So there is need to protect this land.